Hey there, it's Mark. Here we have a 2021 H case. We have a little squish. That's okay. Ho hopefully everything's all right. Now remember, H case, there will be no I case. They skip I and O. See, that's not even O, that's a D. So, just so you know. Most collectors know, but, you know, newer collectors find my videos and they wonder, why does he keep talking about the case codes? Well, the case codes are basically inventory. So this way Mattel knows what's the old cases. It's like, uh, you know, every case, every time they release a case, uh, it gets the next code. And this month it has a fantastic super treasure hunt. And I think I got one. We're going to get right to it. Uh, I don't want to make you, uh, I appreciate it if you stick around. But I'm looking at that color. I'm looking at that color. And it looks like it's the super treasure hunt. The uh, 71 dots and 510 is the super treasure hunt for H cases. And then the next month, it's a different super treasure hunt. Let me just pull three out, just to make sure I don't mess up this one package. Keep it nice. Hopefully it's a super, because I think the regular version of the 510 is just a regular enamel green color. Uh, this is plastic, but it, it's light like that. And I'm looking at it and it looks like a darker color. Wow, look at that. We were lucky to get a, not we, me. Oh, okay. You can be part of we since you're watching, right? There it is, Super Treasure Hunt, Dotson 510. And when you look at the car itself, it has a TH. They put TH for Super Treasure Hunts. For Basic Treasure Hunts, they put the Circle Flame logo. Uh, for Super Treasure Hunts, it'll have a gold Circle Flame logo behind the car. You can see that gold logo. Yeah, rubber tires, Spectre Flame paint. Most of the time, it'll have a TH on the car. But sometimes it does not. Very nice. Super Treasure Hunt right off the bat. And let me see if I can peek and see. Oh, yeah, basic treasure hunt, too. Super treasure hunts, hardly in, they're hardly in the cases. They're pretty hard to find. Basic treasure hunts seem to be in most cases. Uh, maybe half the cases. I, I don't know. It's a lot. <laughs> they don't seem to be that hard to find. Remember I showed you the, the, the gold logo? Look behind the car. Silver logo. So this is the basic treasure hunt. There's definitely more of these than there are of Supers. And this is the Mustang Funny Car. And they put the, the Circle Flame logo on the model itself as well. Uh, they don't put a Circle Flame logo on the Supers. They put the TH. And this is a funny car. You ready? Haha, -ha, it's funny. It does not open. It's been retooled. It has two rivets. I do believe that this does not open anymore. I'm going to just leave it in the package for now. Oh, by the way, one last thing. Treasure Hunt, it'll be one Treasure Hunt. It might be in the case, might not. But it's only for this month. Next case, it'll be a different car. So this one will be not be found. It's usually not found in future cases. This one is a recolor of the 71 Dotson 510 in that other color. So a little bit, a little bit different systems they do there. Now this one is a new model. This is a new for 2021. There you have the new for 2021. It is the first appearance of this car or bus, H-W-D-E-S-C-T-R. The, that's the abbreviation, I, I presume, for Hot Wheels Design Center. It's over there in El Segundo, California. So we have another bus casting. And this part right here looks like it's metal. Obviously clear roof, so that's plastic. The whole sides are plastic. Has Metro Rapid Roots on the side. And there's a peak at the base. Base code, it's gonna be in, it's gonna be P now because now we're into the next year's uh, production code. Let's take a look at the back. For the English packages, this is what it shows on the back. They do not get this information on the back of the international packages. We do get the case code too. Remember it was H, so there you go. H for ain't fair. By the way, all three new models this month hmm, reportedly were designed by Ryu Asada, who has passed on a couple months ago. We lost Ryu, so it's kind of cool that all three models this month are going to be his designs. It just happened that way. They can't. They can't. They didn't. They didn't plan. I don't think they planned to release it like that. 
Toyota off-road truck. He was doing a lot of the basic cars, and they have a few guys doing the basic cars. So it just happened like that. So uh, if you want a little bit of history, pick up uh, one of the new models this month for Ryu. And I hope it has a special place in your heart for Ryu. There's the graphics on T-Rex Stroyer. 70 Toyota Celica. Beautiful graphics. It was in the last case, and it does carry over to this case. So if you, for some reason, your store doesn't get the, what's before H? <laughs> J? Uh, G. <laughs> Sorry. I'm thinking and looking at the same time. So if your stores don't get the G case, uh, it appears in the H case, and you might get it then. Here we go, Lamborghini. 17 Lamborghini, 17 Lamborghini Urus. Headlight details. Tail light details. Here we have the 2020 Ford Shelby Mustang. Ford Mustang Shelby GT500. Bumblebee. Another yellow car. 10 Pro Stock Camaro with the Pictionary graphics. Part of the Mattel game series. So they've released uh, Uno, Rock'em Sock'em Robots. Do we have a Rock'em Sock'em Robot? Anyways, there's several uh, games that they're using the graphics on. This was a new model last month, actually. Last case. I shouldn't say month because there's 15 cases per year. And that's, that, that's, that, is, that is not one per month. The front wheel looks like it's big, but I think it's just sitting funny in the package. I just remember it's a Nissan. What was the name? Nissan R390 GT1. Thank you to the person who told me that it was GT1. I didn't memorize it, but thank you very much. Man, it looks different. Eh, just me. So if you missed the last case, you can pause this and check that out because we're moving on. Here you have a Rackno rod. Very, very nice green color. Kind of a teal green, I should say. Nice contrast with the pink tires and the yellow exhaust or flames. And there's the uh, spiders. It's a Rackno rod, right? So it's a spider. Let's see, uh, that is not a Circle Flame logo on the corner. Just in case people say, hey, I seen a Circle Flame logo. No, it's just part of the deco. Part of the Street Beasts series. Here you have 17 Acura NSX. Interesting, it has the roof is painted black. Has decos on the back. Decos in the front. And normally it's only two sides, but uh, that car, I guess, got three sides decoed. Hey, hey, hey. This was a new for 2021 model. It appeared earlier this year, but now we have a recolor. I like the other one first. It was a nice burgundy, I think. Pretty cool graphics. Head gasket. Kind of like Red Baron, a helmet car. I was going to make a video with Hot Wheels helmet cars, and I just let it go. I got to move on. It just takes... It takes too much time. And if only a thousand people are going to watch it, it's just too much time to spend on a video for only a thousand people to watch. 70 Volkswagen Baja Bug peeling out an enamel. Number 70. No graphics on the side. Just in case I had to look to see if it was an error. Nope. That's apparently how it's supposed to look. It's not supposed to be popped up like that, but you know. Let's go ahead and keep going. Here you have another Lamborghini Urus. Now remember, these, these cases are not really for, for collectors. These cases are for retailers to put them on the pegs. And so that's why you'll wind up with duplicates. Because it's a bunch of cars. <laughs> a bunch of dollar cars for the uh, stores to put on the pegs. Blade Raider. Nice graphics. Let's see what we have next. Oh, uh, 16 Ford GT race. I had to look because I know it's 16, but on one of the packages, I think it says 17. 16 Ford GT race. Uh, I love the Ford GT. I'm not a big fan of the race version. I f prefer like the uh, 90s or the 2005 version. As a matter of fact, it might be in here. They might have a recolor, but this looks great with the Borla graphics. Here you have a 2017 Camaro ZL1. Now, see, since it has graphics on the side and the top, it's not going to have taillights and headlights. Oh, here's another new model by Ryu. Draft Nader. New model. We'll have a peek at it. Set. Go. 
and there you go. It's an X-Racer, part of the X-Racer series. X-Racer means you can see through the body. It's a translucent or clear plastic. It's supposed to work on a track. They put it in a... Oh, it doesn't say. Hmm, I think it's going to work on the track. They put a track loop symbol right there. That's not a Circle Flame Treasure Hunt logo. That's a track loop symbol. It should work on the track. Draft Nader. Metal base, plastic body. Pretty cool design, huh? Here we have Davancinator. It's a new model. It appeared last month and it'll appear. So now it's here in the next case and that'll be it. It's a model where you can flip the uh, splitter so that it can go through loops. All chrome. Robo Race Robo Car. Like I said last month. Very cool. It always gets neat graphics. Carbonator. Look at that pink. Pink, pink, pink. Very nice. And of course, you can use this to open up your uh, pop bottles with the bottle cap. And you can use the tip to help lift up the. Uh, for aluminum cans this way you can help lift the tab. Oh, I was going to show you this right here because it's a new model this year So if you're newer and you didn't see this before there you go too late Hey, we got another color. I think this is only the second color. Hmm. I could be mistaken I think it started in red first issue. See. Oh, it's not new this year. It was new last year uh, I'm pretty sure it was only in red could be mistaken but this was an old Mattel not Hot Wheels this was an old Mattel plastic toy car and so now they they made it in a Hot Wheels version so pretty cool history behind that one air eruption take a look at air eruption air eruption is a few years old slide kicks only a couple years it replaces, or it's a sister car to Sidekick. You can, uh, you do something, you do something, and it's, it pops open on the side. Yeah, see if you pull the thing in the back, the door slides open. And the seat slides open, slides out with it, because it's all part of the same piece. Minecraft. Here you have Minecraft. Minecart, yellow version. Someone said it's an anniversary. I think, is that what someone said? I think someone commented that it's an anniversary car. And maybe it is a 10 year anniversary of Minecart. I think so. I don't think it stands for the 10 there. I think that's what they said. I do read every, oh, that's definitely a 10. I do read every comment. I heart a lot of them. Reply to some. Uh, don't ask for your comment to be hearted unless it's a special comment. If you just sit there and say, hey, heart my comment. Well, why don't you post something interesting, okay? Here we got Bone Shaker, open roof version. I'm trying to see what it says on top there in the plastic is on the side. Moon Eyes, SPL. There's a look at the decals on the side. Moon Equipment Company. Santa Fe, what does it say? Santa Fe, something, California. I'm not sure what this is. Anyways, let's move on. Number 68, because Mattel Hot Wheels was created in 1968. And that's why you'll see 68 often on the models. That was RV yet, there yet on the bottom. There's another new model, again designed by Ryu Asada. Let's go ahead and take a look at the back. 94 Audi Avant RS2. Have a look at it. No graphics on the side. Nothing on the top. So we're going to expect headlight and taillights. And that is typical for licensed models. They will usually have real cars. They'll, they'll have headlights and taillights. More so than fantasy cars. Is that a Bronco? Looks like a Bronco. Could be. I don't know. Custom Ford Bronco in light blue. I don't know what it says on the hood. Oh, HWGRFX. HWGRFX. Hot Wheels graphics. Right? Right? Here you go. La Troca's back. Casting change. No more metal bed. 
Uh, it's pretty much going to be the sign of the times with trucks. It's part of the art car series. has an H on the top. Love, love the classic decos and the pinstriping. Hey, lace tires too. Mm, you don't see lace tires too much. Last, last case. I showed this. It says new model. But it's actually in the Spy Racer series. And it's the same truck, Rally Baja Crawler. Except the, the version that's in the Spy Racers series. Uh, those cars are like $1.50. I don't know, something like that. That version actually has a switch for you to move a switch and something happens. But it's pretty much the same thing, except for the switch. So if, if they're going to have a casting change between this one and the Spy Racers version. But look, they made it a new model, right? Well, if they do a, a casting change on this, does that make it a new model? I'm just saying, it's just conversation. I showed you the back of that one. Here you go. There's Ryu. Ryu designed this one, I believe. The Dajavan. Uh, it's a Japanese racing thing. Don't think I'm being rude, okay? It's a Japanese racing. Japanese racing. And if you look inside, there's a, like a go-kart. I think that's what that is. So they use the Dodge Vans to haul their racing vehicle. Uh oh haul the racing vehicles to the track. In Japanese, that's how they pronounce it. That's what they say, Dodge Van. Something like that, I don't know. Two buses in the case. Here's a recolor. I was lucky to get one. It didn't have these graphics on the side. Yeah, pretty good. Call it a naked error, because it didn't have no tampos. Casting change on this one as well. Talked about it on Mr. Grooves. There's the base code. P02, there you go. This was produced the second week of 2021 what do we have on the bottom half of the case more cars of course let's grab some bring it forward now remember there's not going to be any super treasure hunt. not going to be a treasure hunt because for one they're only one per case if they're in the case and we already got one but we still have a new model that we have not seen yet so there there will be more coming i'm going to zoom in a little bit 2020 Ford Mustang Shelby GT500, had one in the top of the case, 70 Celica, Toyota Celica, beautiful color, glad to have a couple of them, a few, 10 Pro Stock Camaro, I don't know if I showed you the graphics on the top, there's the game, the Pictionary game, drawing on the roof, no headlight decorations, another La Troca, a Batman Arkham Asylum Batmobile, and another 17 Acura NSX. Got a little bit of a box fuzz or something. I don't know. Which is, I like, I like this. I don't know why. It just looks so chunky. There you go. Camouflage. Desert camouflage graphics. You have the kind of like off road tires. Uh, I, I can't memorize the names of the. the the wheels anymore i know those are lace wheels because those lace wheels are geez over 20 years old i know i know that one my my favorite wheels that they use nowadays are the ones that uh the retro slot which came from the cool classics but anyways i would like to have uh, i would like to have every car in the case i would like to have every car that has those wheels because i i really love the retro slot wheels there's a seat. This is what I'm talking about. I don't know if there's a difference between... I don't pay attention that closely. Maybe I'll look later. I don't know if there's a difference between the 17 Ford GT and the 16 Ford GT race. Actually, mm, might be... Might not have a spoiler. We'll put that up on top so I can check that out later. Oh, see? Here you go. Mattel Games. Mattel Games. Rock'em Sock'em Robot. You have Zombot being used as the robot. And you see the flat feet. So you can stand them up. Yeah, you can stand them. They will stand on a table desk. Anything flat might be a little tricky to stand it up on carpet. 2017 Camaro ZL1. I'm pretty sure this one had another sample in the case. Here's a fun model. Total disposal. If you like garbage trucks, there you go. And I still have not heard anything about... See, it celebrates Earth Day in April on April 22nd, except we're in the year 2021 and they put 2022 on the package. So I, I have not heard anything if that's a typo or, my, or maybe they were intending to promote Earth Day like uh, next year, like uh, 
uh, almost a year away. Yeah, I'm being a little sarcastic. Draftinator. Draft Remember, new model to the case. The second new model to the case. That 94 Audi Avant RS2. Oh, so now we've seen all the new models, actually, because uh, there was those two and the bus. Ain't fair. I'm sure parents are going to love that uh, <laughs> kids saying, ain't fair. Ah, pretty cool. All that graphics? Yeah, our cars. There you go. Mad Manga. I think it's Mad Manga. Have a look at that one. This is, you know, modeled after Japanese car culture. They do that to their cars. Same with the trucks. They do it to uh, trucks. Uh, Deco Tura for the trucks. I don't know if we... I think the truck was in the last two cases. So that might be it for the, the truck. I forgot what they called it. And Manga, another one. But it, I'm sure it'll get a recolor eventually. Porsche 935. There you go. Magnus Walker. And Red Base. There you go, Magnus Walker, Urban Outlaw. And, ooh, that looks nice. Mercedes-Benz 500E. Wait a second. Uh, this might be new to the case. I might have missed one. I don't recall this being in the last case. Ooh, what a classy looking model. Headlights, turn signals, grill. Nothing on the side. And there's a look at the back. Have a Hot Wheels logo. Manufacturer logo above that. Is that 300E? What is it? 500E. Yeah. Oh, I might. I might. If I find a couple of these on the pegs, I might grab a couple more. Very nice. Uh, not likely. <laughs> I think people are gonna. I think people are gonna pick it up. So it might be hard to find. Not because it's rare. I mean, you know, they they basically make three per car per every two codes so like in this case there might be one and then like the next case there might be two so basically it's between two and four uh between two cases that wheel's a little far back i wonder if it's going to rub on the fender there anyways land rover defender 90 nice graphics uh, my light might be brightening brightening it up a bit but uh, it's a it's a darker blue I won't know until I edit the video and then actually see it. But I'm looking at my monitor and it's making it kind of bright. Rocket Oil Special. This has had a casting change. It used to have like these uh, side uh, things so you can use it in the booster. But now it's an open wheeler. Hey, another HW Art Cars model. It does have a letter. It has a Hot Wheels logo. Maybe not. Maybe Maybe that's the... Maybe that's not the letter, but the character for the HW Art Cars. Anyways, if you have the original, it is pretty fast because it was metal base, metal body. I'm looking at this. So metal base, rocket oil special. And mm, the engine right there, it's kind of shiny. Uh, so I think that's a plastic chrome. Chrome that has been plasticized. <laughs> Move on. You're going to get stuck. Donut Drifter, fun stuff. Come out with all sorts of uh, fun colors for Donut Drifter. So what it's about. If it's not for you, let it go. Let someone buy it who likes it, right? There's another Dodge Van for Ryu. Thank you very much. Moon Eyes. So there's several reasons if you want to collect this model. Ryu, uh, Moon Eyes, uh, Vans, License. So there's several reasons why that might be harder to find. I don't think people are going to hoard that car. Hoard that car? I think my, people might pick up a little extra. BMW M3 GT2. Nice graphics. I was um, out someone rec somewhere recently. And uh, I was at the bike. I'll just say that. I was at the bike and there was a car parked in the parking lot. And I seen it from afar. And just from the graphics on the car, I was thinking... Uh, you know what? I, I, I know that's a BMW. I can tell by the, the paint colors. So, and sure enough, I get up on it. It was, it was in fact, another T-Rex Destroyer, another Batman. What is it? Three in this case? Three? Really? I think so. I think that's three. Uh, normally, you might have uh, one or two of each for extras. 
Uh, you don't you don't get three. Um, by the way, after I unbox this, I go through all the codes. And if there's anything funny or interesting, and when I mean funny, I, I don't mean haha. I mean funny like, uh, hey, what's going on here? Uh, I show that after the unboxing. And anyways, I got to comp compare the two Ford GTs. Volvo 850 Estate. Licensed car. So once again, uh, that goes in the front. That goes in the rear. Or if you're following along. That goes in the rear, that goes in the front. Another Robo Race, another RV there yet. And it, I like, to be honest with you, while I like, it was nice to get a couple colors. I'm not gonna get every color of this car, but it's kind of creative what they did. It looks like it has, you know, three axles, this car. But actually this is not, it's not an axle. They just, they painted a fake wheel right there. Very creative, right? Get her done. Right? It's a piece of art. Oh, yeah, there you go. Another Mercedes Benz. And this is a fast car, too, right here. You do downhill racing. HW Formula Solar. Or if you like to send your cars through the boosters. Uh, it's a fast car because it has skinny wheels. Front and rear. So when you do racing, uh, that's less friction on the road, right? Just a little bit of the wheel touching the track. Heavy hitcher. I had to, uh, I had a burp. If you really want to know, why did it get quiet? If you really want to know, I had to burp. And I, you don't want to hear that, right? You don't want to hear that. I, I edited it out. You might not even notice that. You might not even have noticed the edit. 69 Chevelle X Racer. That means it's a clear body. Metal base. Pretty, pretty fast car on its own. Another Da Vincanator, Da Vance, Da Vancenator. I don't know. And it's named after a designer. Uh, forgot the name. I wrote it down last week. Uh, anyways, the name's not Dave. It's D V is the initials. And another, I mean not another. This was out in the last case. Tuned twin mill. Uh, that makes a lot of twin mills. Okay, I'll be right back. I'll find a couple things to talk about, uh, as well as double check. Make sure. I got the proper cars in this case. I did find a couple things to talk about. H case, these are the super treasure hunt and basic treasure hunts for the H case. There will be no I case. J case, it'll be two different cars. And yet, Mattel, they do have a Hot Wheels ID chase. I do not keep track of those cars. I only keep track of these two. I might not have shown the back end of the Super Treasure Hunt. It does not have decorations in the back. It does not have any in the front. Even though they superized it, it's still just got the regular printing. There's a look at the card. Very, very nice. Uh, I do have a playlist of cases where I have gotten Super Treasure Hunts. Not very many when you consider it. I've done over a hundred cases Almost a hundred, hey, Circle Flame logo on the roof right there. Can you see it? Over a, probably 150 cases. That's interesting. Sometimes they get extras. Circle Flame logo right there. They put one on the, on the top. Uh, let's, let's check out the other side. Why not, right? Let's, I am not opening my Super. <laughs> let's see. There's the uh, Circle Flame logo on the roof. Mm, it will go this way. Circle Flame logo on the roof. Let's see if it has it on the other side. There it is right there. And I said that I don't think this opens up. Now I get to check, just in case. No, it's uh, not, they called it a funny car, but uh, it's funny, haha. -ha now. It's not funny like a funny car to where you can open it up and the driver sits in the canopy right there. So anyways, so let's check a look at these. Um, oh yeah, so the base code was P03, right? Or P02, I forget. Mm -mm -mm. Where'd the base code go? P01. Look at that. P01. And this one, P02. So it's the week before. Not only that, look, uh, G case. So it's a G case carryover. H case, not a big deal. Especially since I got the Super Treasure Hunt. So there's probably no funny business going on with the case. I thought I had three of these. Sure enough, there were three. And they all have H codes. Uh, that does not happen. So, 
Uh, it does happen, but it does not have it happen often. I, I don't know why I held this out for something to say. Mm. Oh yeah, look, the base code, 51. So <laughs> it's like they made this the second of last week in uh, 2020, but for some reason didn't get into a case until 23 weeks later. 51, 52, 1, 2, yeah, three weeks later. Uh, not a big deal, not a big deal, I'm just saying. And I told you uh, with the 16, and we'll do them in order, 16 and 17. Yeah, that's the deal. 16 has the wing in the back, 17, uh, no wing. So different models. Uh, I have not compared them. The 16 is definitely lower profile. Look how short that is. It's modeled after the GT40, which was only 40 inches high off of the ground. So definitely different models. If I have looked at these before, I don't recall. And look, it does have an opening right there. Uh, it's hard to see. Interesting. Anyways, what else did I want to say? Oh, so for the new models, yeah, uh, I don't remember if this was in the last case. New for 2021. Uh, so it was two per case. I got two. I got two of this one. Oh, these are, uh, I don't know about the bins, the Mercedes. I don't know if it's a new to this case. I don't know. I seem to have forgotten it if it was. But uh, those are the new models of the case. Sorry, did you see the cat here? You have some cat here. Over on RGTV, Pluto helped me investigate an accelerator search package. Well, I wasn't ready to, but Pluto said it's time to open it up. I tried to do gaming five years ago, didn't work out. I plan on starting it up. Race Grooves Gaming for driving games and vehicles, and Kaz from La Puente. That'll be whatever I want to play. Thanks for watching. Happy collecting. Bye-bye.